Hey guys, Fishmonger here. Um, I am in virtual reality right now. There's really no other way to describe what I'm seeing. Um, and you can kind of see it. You should be able to see what I'm looking at here if I've got this set up right. Um, I've got my laptop with a webcam recording me, and I've got my desktop trying to play this VR from my head while it's also uh, mirroring to the screen and then also recording with OBS. And it's probably going to have a couple of hiccups because my computer is really not designed to do all this at the same exact time. In fact, on my screen right now, it's kind of hiccuping right now. Not sure if you can see that. Um, but normally, if I'm not doing OBS and all this other stuff, everything is kind of working fine. So um, I just want to do a quick um, detail uh, showing what this $149 uh, Windows Mixed Reality um, headset can do. And, you know, and it says mixed reality, it's really just a VR headset. Um, I gotta say, man, j just for my, my computer that I'm running right now, which is the 8-core AMD and the uh, GTX 1050, um, I play a lot of games great. I mean, I'm really surprised that I'm able to, to play some pretty good VR games just with this, you know, GTX 1050 video card. Um, I was gonna take a 1070 Ti for my mining rig and bring it in here, and I may still do that at some point. Um, but for right now, it, it's 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 working pretty good, you know, um, minus a couple of things here and there. So let's go into uh, the game over here. I have to find my okay, my, my jiggers here. So let's see here. What you should be seeing on the webcam that's recording me is me personally. Like hello, that's me. And then what you should be seeing on the game capture is the game capture of me in virtual reality. And, you know, again, I am, this is, it's going to be a little laggy because I'm doing the, the stream at the same time, but um, I am in a 3D world. I can walk around in this 3D world. It's kind of freaky. Um, if you don't have the headsets on, it looks like you're just watching a 2D screen, and it's lagging out again. Um, and it's really, really hard to convey what it is like when you're in here. But when you're in here, it's a whole other world, especially with some nice... Uh, 3D headphones and everything like that it is absolutely incredible. So I'm going to try to just jump right into a game here, a game I really do enjoy playing. And let's see if we can, oh, I forgot how to do this. This is this way. All right, let's see if we can uh, basically have this run and actually be kind of decent. This is uh, Zortex 26XX. Uh, um, it's actually kind of neat. You can see, like, I got a little joystick there and all that stuff, and I got a button. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, but we're going to play this game. And there's one way to play it. Basically, you can grab these little orbs and you put it up to your face to play. Um, I might be able to actually... Let me see. If I hit this... What does this do? Oh. Oh, what is this doing over here? Oh, that's kind of cool. Actually, I've never seen this before. Can I play it like this? Oh, get the fuck out. No shit. This is like the actual 2D version of the game? Or this is just something kind of... Okay, that's cool. Regardless, that's a nice little Easter egg. I didn't know you can do this. But let me stop this. Okay. So basically, you grab these little orbs uh, for what you want to play in this. Uh, oh, this is. Uh, I forgot the fucking name. Is. This is uh, Valve's. Um, shit, I forgot the name of this. I'll put a link in it. I'll remember it later. But anyway, this is like a free thing for VR that you can do. Um, and it's got a whole bunch of little mini games in here and shit like that. And um, for free, it's great. I can't beat it um, as far as everything it does. So I have. You can't see what I can see I think all the time but I have an area mapped out over here around me that basically shows the limits of where I can walk so I basically know where I can walk and where I can't walk um, which is kinda nice because you can set out a little perimeter and everything like that with the headset um, yeah I just man I wish there was word, better words that would be able to describe this but it's just incredible when you're when you're inside here when you're inside here it's just a whole other world. You know, for all you uh, crypto miners out there, you got all these video cards, man. You're, you're buying all these video cards that are pretty dang expensive cards and everything. Um, it's worth it to just sell one of them and get one of these damn things uh, if you need some money and just play some freaking awesome free-ass games. It's absolutely incredible. So this game, the Zortex 26XX. Essentially, I only need the one controller, uh, but I'll hold on to it for now. So... The whole point of this is you're in like a, you know, a retro kind of um, game, you know, kind of like a Galaga kind of thing or something like that, like a shooter game, and you have the ship right here, which basically your hand, the controller, is going to become the ship. So when I put my hand over here and I grab this, my hand is actually now the ship. You can see I can tilt it, I can roll it, I can go up, down, 
you know, backwards, left, right. Um, it's it's cool. I'm essentially in this 3D world with my hand, and I'm just gonna play classic. This is probably gonna be a little choppy because again, I'm recording at the same time, and my computer is not necessarily up to speed. But let's see what I can do here. So, what you're looking at is uh, my hand. This ship basically attacking all these things that are firing at me. And what you're seeing is a two-dimensional screen of it, but what I'm seeing is a whole 3D world that I can move around in as I'm playing this game. So for instance, like these little red balls, like I need to dodge them in three dimensions as I'm moving around my kitchen here. Because they're flying at me from everywhere, up, down, left, right. I can use this whole area as my uh, my playing zone here. I'm lagging out a little bit here, but it's normally not this bad. It's just because I'm recording. These fucking laser things, man, they're crazy because they shoot straight for the whole distance of the game map. And you gotta dodge them along with these balls. This gets crazy. I hope this is recording good. Either way, I'm having fun. My video card is pretty much tapped out 100%. Um, so if I popped in a 1060 or even a 1070, I'd have a hell of a better uh, playing experience. The 1050 is pretty much just like on the minimum for what you need to do for, for these games. This isn't even a very intense game. There's a lot of shit on the screen right now. This is getting kind of like... Oh. oh, there goes that. So, let me show you another game here I got. I'm gonna grab, basically on your little controller, there's this little button right here in between two things. You push that, you grab the orb, you bring it back to your face, it brings you back to the lab. Oh, that's the name of the game, the lab. Whoops. I don't know why I didn't remember that from before, but... Um, there's another game in here that I've been playing a lot of that's pretty fun. Um, let me see if you can still see me. Yeah, okay. There's another game in here I've been playing a lot of, which is pretty fun, and that is, uh, it's like an archery game. It's like a tower defense kind of game. So let me get that loaded up, and I'll show you. So let's go over here. I'm going to grab this orb, bring it up to my face, and it should be loading me into Longbow, is this next game. I'm going to put these things on my wrist, because every once in a while it's nice to be able to kind of just drop them down and know that they're not going to fall. Check where I'm at. Okay, I'm still getting recorded over here in the thing, so that's good. I'm centered now. So when you first load up Longbow, uh, it kind of puts you into this little world where... Damn it. Where there's like uh, these little dudes all around over there, and you just kind of use the little controller to kind of move forward. And this is basically the playing field that you'll see I'm going to be in in a second. So I'm going to go load this up. All right. And this is, well, this is a really simple fucking game, but it's fun as shit. So I'm standing on this tower thing, right? You can see it here. And there's a whole field of all these things, you know, trees and whatever in the background there. And those little dudes, they're going to start coming to attack me. And they're going to be attacking my castle. And my goal is to kill them before they get to my door. It's tower defense. So let me just hold this still for a second and let the game kind of stop freaking out. It's apparently... Not liking everything I'm trying to do at one time here. If I'm not running OBS, it doesn't do any of this. So I'm gonna grab this bow, with my left hand. All right, and it automatically puts an arrow in your right hand. And then basically, it's just a matter of you just put it close to here, pull the trigger, it loads it, and then you could pull back. And then basically, from here, you can just kind of aim. And you just let go with your right finger, and it shoots. And you can basically, if I shoot one of those guys, it's gonna start the game. So I don't want to do that. But just for instance. Yeah, I can target practice here a little bit. You kind of get good at the aim after a while. Because I suck. I guess I can get a yellow. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's load this up. Let's start this up. Just gotta shoot one of these guys. They get all pissed. And they start running at you. 
So here you go, man. Defend the castle. This is hard, sober. This is really hard when you're drinking. Ah, shit. Come on. Track, track, track. It's freaking out again. I don't know what it shows in the stream. It's freaking out on me, but... I'm all over the place here. But I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Oh, fuck. Come on, VR. Let's go. I'm gonna try to hold still. Stop freaking out. Load nice and slow. The barrels that are over there are basically explosive. It's, it's kind of self-explanatory. And you can use them to explode multiple guys. But you start getting into the higher waves here, man, it gets intense. Oh yeah, Those sh the guys with the shields and stuff, shields just block the arrows. You actually have to go around the shields, so it's a really small area to hit. And they got other guys with the helmets, you can knock the helmets off to hit the head, because that's the only vulnerable part really on it, unless you get them with their back. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Really? Stop freaking out. Man, I hope this looks good on the screen. I'm like in and out of the game here. It print keeps me back to the loading screen. It does not my computer is not happy with everything it's trying to do. Alright. Oh, oh, I got him with the guy with the head thing. I got a guy coming down here. Really? Really? On wave six of eight. When it gets to eight, it's gonna kinda give me a little bit of a breather before I can start the next waves up. And I also have, you can see those, those like target things over there. They're used to, um, well, I'll show you here. You can like knock down oil in that case. Like it puts guys on fire. I I missed them. I'll hit that guy with that. Oops. These, uh, all this stuff's gonna reset on the new wave anyway. Oh shit. Nope, come on. Alright, I have one target up there I can use to drop all the oil on the gate. Which I'm gonna probably have to use here or the next one. I'm normally not this bad, it's just it's a lot easier when I'm not trying to record at the same time. Yeah, it's freaking out again. I can't even see what I'm shooting at. I think I'm toast. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, so these this is the uh, Acer Windows Mixed Reality headset. I got it for $149 refurbed. Um, quite honestly, I'd pay more for it because I think this thing is great. Um, it's called Mixed Reality, but it's not like the Mixed Reality or the Augmented Reality I guess you're kind of accustomed to hearing. It's just basically a virtual reality headset. The nice thing about this one, though, is you don't need to set up like beacons or anything in your room that are like emitters and shit like that. It just uses t two little sensors on the top here to basically 3D map and and tell and be aware of its surroundings. So it moves its head and it automatically, you know, I can move my head and it automatically moves me around in my environment. I had zero, absolutely zero nausea playing with this thing. Uh, which is incredible because I've done other VR things before and it's kind of bad. But this one's actually, you know, it depends on the game. But a lot of these games, like, you know, that can work great with this thing, it's great. If it's a play game where it's real stuttery or it's a, a game, I've tried a couple of ones with the demos where they're just not very well off. The game itself causes the uh, the feeling of nausea, not the headset. The headset's actually really, really good. The field of view on this is not as great from what I hear as far as other ones go. Um, or other headsets go. Let me, let me go back to the lab. Stop freaking out, please. 
but as far as I'm concerned, it's plenty. I It'd be neat to have more than this because I can see a little bit of a black bar or the black circles around the outside, but this is still plenty to be able to kind of like look and be in virtual reality and not have any major issues with it. Um, what else do I want to say about it? Oh, okay. So one of the really cool things about this thing is the fact that, you know, because you don't need any emitters or anything like that, this headset on the cords that come out of it, all right, all it's got is a USB uh, 3.0 plug, which is the, the blue one, okay? And it's got, or is it 2.0? It's whatever, I don't know, fucking, should be text up here that says what it is because I'm too much of an idiot to remember right now. Um, and then it's got a standard uh, HDMI uh, 2.0 port. So all you need Welcome is you have back, a laptop Mr. that's got like a, you know, GTX 1050 or 1060 or 1070 or something built into it. You know, it's a decent, decently made laptop. Um, chances are you can use a headset like this and you can actually bring it anywhere you want. It's like a portable fucking VR system, which is awesome. Um... You know, if you actually had a good power source for the laptop and stuff, you could put yourself in a field and set yourself up a limitless boundary, pretty much, and you just kind of walk around anywhere without to worry about hitting anything. It'd be absolutely incredible. Um, the head, the hand controllers here are uh, Bluetooth uh, 4.0, so you do need a uh, Bluetooth 4.0 capable receiver system. Um, I actually bought one on like Amazon for like five or ten bucks or whatever because my system didn't actually have that, um, and I needed to buy a USB, uh, you know, one of the high-speed uh, USB ports for the back of my computer also because my system only had, like, USB 1.0 um, because it was just kind of an old system. So, I mean, like I said, I'm only using an, it's an Athlon uh, AMD, I'm sorry, it's not an Athlon, it's an AMD FX 8370E. So it's an 8-core, but it's, like, really a 4-core processor. Um, it's, like, running at stock, like, 3.8 gigahertz or something like that. And the GTX 1050. And I'm able to use uh, this VR pretty dang well. So... Uh, if you can get this headset, cheap, 150 bucks or whatever, man, I would totally recommend it. Um, give yourself a break from uh, mining and doing some other stuff, and put yourself in the world of VR. Am I even looking at the screen? Yeah, put yourself in the world of VR, and I guarantee you. You're not going to regret it. This is Fishmonger. I'm signing out. I'll catch you on the flip side.